Duke University scientists successfully tested a cloak of invisibility. Their prototype cloak mostly hid a small metal cylinder from passing microwaves. When you think of cloaking or invisibility, you think of uh, making something vanish. And usually you think of it optically vanishing or, or you look at something and then, then it's gone. And right now we don't know how to do that. This is just a simple example where you can take one wavelength, or for example, one color, and you could achieve cloaking of that color. This cloak guides electromagnetic waves around a central region so that any object at all can be placed in that region and will not disturb the electromagnetic fields. So there's uh, reduced reflection from the object and there's also a reduced shadow that you would uh, normally expect to see from uh, electromagnetic waves impinging on an object. Uh, David Smith has built an apparatus in the laboratory that essentially enables you to map the uh, distribution of electromagnetic fields around an object so you can literally see the radio waves in this case traveling towards the object, bending around that object and passing through the object. In their experiment, the scientists first measured microwaves passing over a plane without any obstacles. Then they placed a copper cylinder in the plane and measured the disturbance in the microwaves. Next, they placed the invisibility cloak over the copper cylinder. The cloak did not completely return the microwaves to their undisturbed state, but it did greatly reduce the microwaves being blocked or reflected. The results are published online in the journal Science. The key to the cloak's invisibility is the arrangement of copper lines on fiberglass sheets. The design gives the cloak electromagnetic properties different from those of pure copper or fiberglass. The design comes out of the new engineering science of metamaterials. Metamaterials are materials that are structured by taking macroscopic elements and uh, fashioning them or patterning them together to make a material that is unlike uh, any material that you could synthesize naturally. As an application, it's not clear that uh, y you're going to get the uh, uh, invisibility that uh, everyone thinks about as in Harry Potter's cloak or, or uh, uh, the, the Star Trek cloaking device. But uh, it shows what can be done with artificial materials. It gives us some insight that we can design something that we wouldn't have been able to do with any existing material. This experiment is really just a tiny baby step towards demonstrating that this sort of thing is, is feasible. Obviously, everybody can come up with a whole set of uh, interesting things one might be able to do if you can make something invisible. Um, and all of those are, at this point, in play given the, the theory that has been developed to support this work.